Welcome to Touch Creator. This video will help you learn how to use Touch Creator quickly and efficiently. Here we'll be showing you the basics. Once you have handled on that, creating more advanced projects will come intuitively. For more detailed information about the individual features, check our online help section. Getting to know Touch Creator. Let's start by taking a look at the Touch Creator interface, which is divided into four panes. Here you can see the scene manager, the inspector, the stage, and finally the library. Let's take a closer look at the library. This is where all of your assets and components are located. Assets are your basic contents such as images and videos. Components contain assets and allow you to adjust and use them in your multi-touch scenario. The same components are always available to you in the library, but assets must be imported. To import assets into Touch Creator, simply drag and drop them into the interface. After they're done loading, you'll be able to find them in the Assets section of the library. Clicking on an asset in the library will display helpful information about it on the right. The Scene Manager is where you can determine the structure of your multi-touch scenario. Here you can see the various scenes that you have created and the relationships between parent and child components. You can see the multi-touch hierarchy in the scene. Projects contain scenes. Scenes contain layers. Layers contain components. And finally, components can be designated as parent components, meaning that other components are connected to them as child components. Below the Scene Manager, you'll find the Inspector. The Inspector is the pane where you can make adjustment to all of the settings for components that have been added to a scene. The settings available in the Inspector vary, depending on what you have currently selected. You'll also notice that a component has several styles, such as Original and Fade Out, which determine the appearance and behavior of the component depending on user interaction. In the Inspector, you'll also find Actions. Actions determine how components interact with one another in the multi-touch scenario and provide expanded functionality beyond basic touch behavior or interface controls. Actions can hide and show components, start and stop playback, reset a scene, and a whole lot more. Let's move on to the last pane. The stage is a live rendering of the multi-touch scenario you're creating. You can interact with it just like you would on a multi-touch screen by using your mouse cursor. To create two touch points at the same time, right-click on a point and then left-click to create another touch point. Right-click on the first touch point again to remove it. In the upper right-hand corner, you can resize the stage and switch between the edit and preview modes. The preview mode is on by default and simulates the interaction that you will have on the multi-touch screen when the project is published. The edit mode allows you to adjust components in the stage and also resets the scene to its starting position once you return to the preview mode. The Touch Creator interface has been designed to help you maintain a consistent workflow and provides easy access to the features that you'll be using the most.